Hello, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to my channel, The Office Guys Tutorials. So what we are going to do today is, we have some data which shows your monthly sales or in fact it can be any number of what you want to show. So this is a usual chart that we get when we plot this data. What I'm going to tell you, how you can convert the boring chart that default Microsoft Excel gives us into a good looking chart, for example, like this and something like this. So without wasting any further time, let's jump into the tutorial. Now I'm going to quickly jot out few points where we can improve this chart. So you can see we have some huge numbers which really doesn't make sense when you're presenting your data. Second thing which doesn't suits me, especially the default graph is the color and third thing the default font size which Excel uses, it's too small, it's 9, which is barely visible on a screen. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to take a new Excel file. So you can see we have sheet 4 and I'm just going to copy this data. So press Ctrl C to copy and press Ctrl V to paste. Now we have sales data. So first thing first, I'm going to do is going to post process this data. These numbers are too big when you're presenting, showing this number. To accurate digit like 2 lakh 92,046 doesn't make any sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the number for example 2.92. So essentially what we need to do is I will put formula on this cell. So I'll press equal and then I will take this number and I will divide this by 1 lakh. Okay so 405 zeros. Okay so, so this gives us 2.92. So I'll just drag this here and we get all the numbers but still you can see uh, the number is too big i don't want this big number i just want a round off this number so what i'm going to do is in the next cell you just click so equal and type round and uh, you can just give the number so this is the number and hit comma and then number digits how many digits you want to round off so i want 2.92 so i want only two digits after decimal so 2 and you hit enter so you can see your data is now pretty much clean with uh, two digit uh, accuracy okay so we are good to go now I'm going to select this data and I press control and I'll select this data as well after selecting these two columns come to the insert tab I hope you can uh, uh, anyway we are going to put bar chart but you can just come to recommended chart and the second option you can see we have the months over here and some numbers over here. It looks good. Click OK. And what you get is a default chart. So first thing is I'll just I'll try to make this chart a little bigger. So I'm holding shift on the keyboard so that the aspect ratio doesn't change. The data looks good, but let's just correct few things. So first thing first, let's change the font size. So I usually go with 12 or 14. Okay. So 14 seems to be okay. And uh, I'm also going to change the font style. Okay, so you, I usually like Rajdhani and you can in fact use any font of your choice. In fact, I really don't need this data. So I'm just going to delete this. This data, I will do the same thing. So increase the font to somewhere around 12, 14 seems to be fine. Font is Rajdhani. In case you don't have Rajdhani font, you need to download and install it from Google Fonts. If you don't know how to do it, you can see the video on top. Okay, so I'll just hit bold so that they are well visible. Next thing which I really don't like is this title over here. So I'm going to take this title and just going to give the same font. So Rajdhani and uh, slightly bigger and uh, somewhere around 28 seems to be fine with bold. And I'm just going to type in here myself like sales of year, let's say 2021, 20, 22, it can be any number. I'll hit enter and in bracket, I will write in lakhs. Okay. Remember, uh, because 2.92, the uh, viewer should know it's in lakh or what. And I'm just going to select everything and write a line. Good. And I'll just keep it somewhere here. Now I'll select this and I reduce the font size so that it doesn't eat up all the space over here. 
So next thing what I really don't like about this graph is this lines over here. So I'll select this. Okay, so click on this plus icon and uh, you can just hide grid lines. So that's also good. Now, the next thing which I can observe is the spacing between two bars or columns. So you can just click on that and uh, you can see you have a format data series option over here. If you're not able to see that, right click format data series. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reduce this to somewhere around 50%. Okay, now uh, I, I, so now I like it. So 50% looks good. Now I also want some data on the top because if somebody is looking at this graph right now in January, he don't know what is a number, right? So what I'm going to do is I'll just select this data or you can click anywhere on the graph, this plus icon. Okay. And you can just click on this plus icon and you can click data label. Looks good. Now just click on any of the data label and increase the font size so that it's readable. So we'll go till 12 and then I can change the font to match the theme. So Rajdhani and if you wish, you can just make it a little bold. We so, so far so good. We are going good. It's looking nice. Now it's time to color this little bit. So select the uh, columns on the right hand side. You can see this, uh, you can see this bucket icon come to that under the fill option. You can just change it to a gradient fill and then you can take gradient from um, you can just click so linear down looks good and then what I did just is like I took two colors like uh, dark blue and light blue so dark blue goes here and the light blue goes here in fact you can if you wish you can change the color let's say the dark red goes here and the lighter red comes here. I mean, it, it looks weird because the color is not correct. So in fact, you can just go with the darker, uh, some, some yellow tone and lighter, something of this sort. I mean, it's up to you how you want to take it. And then what I'm going to do is, in fact, I'm just going to change the color. So let me just go with blue right now. So, so we'll go with blue. I personally like it for our professional work. And then there you can see in the bottom, there is one line over there. I want that line also to be a little bit visible. So you can just click over here and then under the line option, you can say you can get a solid line and uh, give kind of a similar color. Okay. The color is up to you. And then you can increase the thickness somewhere around two points. So now it looks good. If you don't like the color, let's say blue, you don't, you don't like the so let's say you don't like the blue line over here. You can just uh, come back to the line option and change it to black. It's, it's your wish. Okay. The next thing I feel this text color is also can be changed. I mean, it's your wish once again. Okay. So you can make it either black, blue, whatever you want. And with this, you can see the graph is ready. One last thing that can be that can be improvised in this particular is uh, you can see uh, if I come to the view option and I turn off the grid lines, you can see there is a slight border across the graph, which I personally, it's, it's, it's once again, it's a personal taste, which I personally don't like. So I just usually select that graph. Okay. And just in the border option, I just make no line. So it looks neat and clean. One last thing that can be improvised is adding the background to the graph. So just click anywhere on the empty place in the fill option. You can just take a solid color and uh, let's go with this blue. So right now it looks too off because it's matching with the same color. No need to worry. Come to the color option. Once again, go to the more colors option and just drag it to the top so that we get a, so here we go. It looks nice, clean and soothing to eyes. And I hope you like this tutorial as well. So that's all. I hope to see you again. And if you really like this tutorial, please do consider to subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. Thank you.